morning, everybody, and thank you so Good much night. for coming to our instructor transition panel on campus. Uh, exciting to be in the transition period at this point, and truly out of time that we're getting started. My name is Kelsey Leos. I manage the academic web technologies team in the Office of Information Technology that builds the campus's custom EDE tools and manages our Canvas environment for the campus. I have just a few brief remarks before we really get going. Uh, the focus is on the panelists today, so I'll keep it pretty short, but I want to give you a couple of quick updates about how the transition is going so far, and I'll be available to answer questions as well if any of them are more about the transition process versus those that are for our panelists. So this is a multi-year project. It's not an overnight switch. Uh, I know that a lot of people have some anxiety about, is EE going away? Uh, we're going to be providing a lot of information throughout this transition. There will be EE tools that Canvas does a better job of meeting particular needs for, and we'll be letting Canvas know as we get closer to making decisions about individual tools, what's happening, when, when's it happening, and how can you work with us to make a smooth transition. Uh, throughout the transition process, we're offering a variety of ways to get help and training, uh, from structured workshops to customized trainings where we can come out to schools, departments, programs, and really do something that's tailored for you, all the way up to one-to-one -one consultation with instructors just want to sit down with the amazing Karen uh, and get some help figuring out how to work in Canvas effectively, how to get the most out of that powerful system. Uh, you'll also see a lot of outreach, Zot mails, other email messages, uh, postcards that were at the table when you came in. And if you think of other ways that we can do a better job of communicating with you and with your colleagues, we really gratefully <laughs> welcome any input that you have. Uh, we can't do this well if we're not talking to you and really hearing what you need what is a problem for you in Canvas or was a problem in EE that we may be able to help you overcome as we make this transition, what needs you have that have not been met, what concerns you have, what you're excited about. We're really relying on the Canvas to talk with us and help us make this the smoothest transition that we can. So a quick look at some of the numbers. Uh, maybe a little bit hard to read, but this shows the growth of Canvas use over time. In the current fall quarter, you can see uh, the bar graph doesn't quite make it clear, but it's actually almost doubled by a lot of metrics from our usage of Canvas last fall quarter. So we're seeing a lot of people come on board and give us a try to varying degrees. Uh, at this point, about 70% of students have some experience with Canvas. They're in at least one class that is making use of a Canvas course space. And about a quarter of instructors have that same experience. So this is becoming something that the Canvas is, is really pretty rapidly coming on board with and, and really taking up pretty quickly. Uh, this is just a quick look at the front page of the EE website right now. We've converted the whole front page to information about this transition. So when you visit EE, you'll see a list of all the EE tools and what's happening to them. Most of these decisions have not been firmly made yet because we need to wait and gather information, see how the transition goes, and make sure that we're making these decisions with good information and not making assumptions about what's going to work down the line. But as we get that information, we'll be doing everything we can to push it out there, including updating this page. And each of those tools has a link to a dedicated page for the individual legacy EEE tool, where we give you the information we have so far about what the outlook is like for that tool, uh, about what other services you might consider for tools that will likely be retired, whether it's a Canvas tool that will probably meet your needs as well, if not better, uh, or another supported Canvas service. And then we always ask at the end for your feedback come talk to us. Uh, tell us if you rely upon a tool, why do you rely upon it? What does it do that's indispensable to you? What do you need? How do you use it? And how can we help you find the best way to meet that need as we work through this transition process? So what's coming next is essentially a whole lot of outreach and information, decision making over time that is guided by what we learn from the campus, and building stuff. Uh, now that the Academic Web Technologies team, which is a small group of in-house developers here on campus, most of us being UCI alumni, uh, will not be needing to sustain an entire robust learning management system, building things like a quiz tool where you can get a quiz tool by purchasing it from Canvas. We have the capacity to begin building the things we've been excited about for a long time, uh, starting with rebuilding the campus's evaluation system. So I can tell you that over the coming year, you'll hear more about that as we start with the self-diagnostic end and we'll work to put in all the features that we haven't had the capacity to do. Things like completely custom midterm evaluation forms that you can use more than once, where you can customize the questions, and where you can invite people to participate, whether or not they're associated with any enrollment. So look for news on that, 
coming in the mid to late winter quarter, more news in spring. And please, uh, if you take nothing else away from this, please don't hesitate to come talk to us. Uh, we're pretty easy to reach. The email address for the whole team is right up there. I get every message that goes through that address. My team gets every message that goes through that address. And we really, really want to hear from you, whether it's something that's going well, something that's going poorly, something that's just kind of interesting, an idea, a question. Please come talk to us so that we can help make this a good transition that results in an improvement of the instructional technology options we have here.